one tip that will change your photos for good right after the intro. Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Mo and I'm a car photographer from Bahrain. If it's your first time around this channel and you'd like to learn all about car photography and Photoshop, then go ahead and subscribe now so you don't miss out on all the cool stuff that I create every week. All right, here's a quick tip before we start. Subscribe to my newsletter to receive weekly raw uh, files that you can download and follow along. Link in the description below. All right, so unfortunately, I took the B-roll camera with me to, to shoot behind the scenes and show you what I was talking about. However, it was too windy for this mic to pick up anything. So I have to narrate for you. Here we go. Many of you may know it, but it's good to reiterate this. All right, let me show you this. So this is the... All right, and that's when things went crazy. And I was just about to show you the location uh, where the sun was at and uh, why I always avoid shooting and that's the tip by the way I always avoid shooting uh, a car when the sun is behind me it flattens out the car it shows unnecessary details so here's the deal a lot of you have been messaging me Mo we've been following your workflow but we still think that our photo is missing something or is not just right so here's what I do. One is I pick up the right time of the day and I've said that before many times. But here's, here's, here's a better one. Like I said, I don't shoot when the sun is behind me. So if the car is in front of me, it's never behind me. That flattens out the car. I always shoot when the sun is either behind the car, to the side of the car, either ways, and angled in a certain position. And I'll try to um, position the car accordingly, right? So let's see what happens when you shoot a car when the sun is behind you. And here's the shot. Here's the shot when the sun was behind me. And as you can see, this is the before. I only did basic adjustments. So this is the before and this is the after. And you notice that the front of the car is too, let's say, dull, flat. It shows unnecessary details behind the grill that I really wouldn't want to have. Uh, all these elements right here and my shadow as well uh, I just never like how my photos look when the Sun is behind me. now it's the same thing for everything else uh, I mean in fashion and beauty and landscape photography the Sun or the light source is never facing the subject otherwise you wouldn't get a very interesting photo or you get like uh, flat out photo without the shadows all right so let's take a look at another example in which we have the sun positioned behind the car there you go and i only did uh, very basic adjustments these are uh, almost as as it is straight out of the camera and like you see in this example you have the right amount of highlights and shadows of course i use the cpl filter to um remove reflections and things like that a bit of post-processing you'll get this and you can see the difference uh, if you look closely these boring details that were shown before are not there not here not anywhere we have nice shadows we have nice highlights across the car it changed the mood of the entire photo not just the car now here are other examples in a way that I positioned the car so the sun would be on the side of the car instead of the back of the car and you would see the same results. Um, you've got nice shadows, nice highlights, nice details. The colors are amazing. So, so there you go. You have it all. That's another tip on how I get these awesome photos. I would recommend that you go out, try and shoot. So you need to find the perfect location, perfect time of the day. Now you know about how I position the car in relation to the sun. Go ahead, pick up your camera, go outside and shoot some awesome cars. All right, YouTube, we've reached the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in the next video.